Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating equivalent fractions and simplifying. We will do that in 5 minutes or less. You see we have a picture of 3 fourths. We're going to first generate equivalent fractions by using a picture. So you see we have a circle here. We, it's broken up into 4 pieces and there are 3 pieces shaded in. If I'm wanting to generate an equivalent fraction, I cannot change the amount that is shaded. I can simply change the size of the pieces that are shaded. So I'm going to take a blue line here. I'm going to take each of my fourths, and I'm going to break each of those fourths into half. And you see now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces all together, and only six of them are shaded in. So three fourths is the same as six eighths, simply because I took each of those fourths and I broke those fourths into half. Now, how can we do that without using a picture? Well, by setting up a multiplication equation, what you do is you say to yourself three fourths times something, and then you have your target denominator. It has to be a multiple of your denominator, so we want to change it into eighths. And when you multiply, you can multiply straight across. And you think 4 times something is going to make 8. This is where we need to know our multiplication facts. 4 times 2 makes 8. Now, this works if you make your numerator of the second factor here the same as the denominator. You see I've got 2 halves here. Well, 2 halves is the same as 1. And so really, I'm multiplying this 3 fourths times 1. And the identity property of multiplication says if you multiply anything times 1, it stays the same. I'm just calling my 1 2 halves. So if you multiply straight across, 3 times 2 makes 6 eighths. So you can generate equivalent fractions by drawing a picture and then cutting each of the pieces into halves or possibly thirds. Or you can use multiplication. Let's look at another example. Sometimes you'll come across a fraction like 10 twelfths and you'll be asked to simplify or reduce the fraction. What that means is you're going to make an equivalent fraction, but this time you're going to make it smaller. So let's look at a picture first. Anytime you make an equivalent fraction, remember the amount of shaded area doesn't change. You simply make the pieces bigger or you make the pieces smaller. So in this case, we have 10 twelfths over here in this rectangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to look side to side, because if you look side to side, I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal pieces, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those pieces are actually shaded in. So 10 twelfths can also be thought of as 5 sixths. If you wanted to simplify this fraction without using a picture, you would set up a division equation. Kind of like making an equivalent fraction that's larger, you're going to set up your 10 twelfths, you're going to divide it by something, and in this case you don't necessarily know what your new denominator is going to be, but you're going to think what is the largest number that will divide both into 10 and 12. And if you're not sure, if they're both even, you can always divide by 2. But in this case, 2 is the largest number that will divide evenly into both 10 and 12. So we're going to divide both 10 and 12 by 2. And take a look at what we're doing. We're dividing it by 1, because remember, 2 halves makes 1. So this is going to be an equivalent fraction. It's just going to look different. So the largest number that goes into both 10 and 12 is 2. Then you simply divide straight across. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now it's your turn. Take a moment to pause the video and generate equivalent fractions for 2 thirds and 9 twelfths. For 2 thirds, make a large equivalent fraction, and if you'd like a challenge, do it with a picture. For 9 twelfths, I want you to reduce or simplify it, and for a challenge, only use division. When you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. When you're making an equivalent fraction by cutting the pieces into smaller pieces, there are actually an unlimited number of equivalent fractions because you can always make the pieces smaller. So in this case, I took my two-thirds and cut them each in half, so I have four-sixths. But I can also take each of my sixths and cut those in half, and I can get eight-twelfths, and it goes on and on and on. With my nine-twelfths, if I want to reduce that, I need to divide it by the largest number that goes into both nine and twelve, and that's going to be three. So I divide by three over three, because remember, that needs to equal one. Three-thirds makes one. Then you divide straight across, and you get three-fourths.